Well, good evening and welcome back to Blake Hill Nature Reserve. I was out here this morning um, to do a video, a wildlife video. No Pacific um, wildlife in general, just walking around see what I could get. Um, but it turned out to be quite fruitful in the end. Um, I saw this owl box, we're coming up to it now actually, and I'll show you that when we get there. And I was stood there for about an hour and a half and um, didn't get any luck apart from some hares. And um, I saw the farmer, because this land is owned by the Vulture Wildlife Trust, and he said to go to this other other uh, place where there's an owl box, and uh, they put it up ages ago and it's never been checked because it's so bloody remote and you ain't kidding. It's a long old trek out there, I'll tell you. It's a good three miles to the, from the car. I'm uh, just over halfway there now. So the object of the exercise is this evening is to get the van out. I got it this morning. Um, he didn't venture out of the box. I got a picture um, of the barn owl in the box. And you can just see the left side of his head and his uh, left eye. I will put that image up on screen. Also took a nice uh, sunrise photo, a couple of them, and uh, some deer, caught a deer in the mist, a nice big roebuck, and a mummy and baby rabbit kissing each other. <laughs> You've got to love it. Didn't get a picture of the hare, he was just just a fleeting visit. And uh, anyway, we'll crack on walking there. And uh, I'll bring you back when I'm set up. Right, so this is where I was um, stood this morning and uh, just across the way there is a tree with an owl box in it. Um, I stood here for about an hour and a half, from seven o'clock till half past eight. And I had uh, nothing from the owl box. Um, I had a couple of pigeons and magpies, but that's about it, but nothing from the owl box. Uh, I had hares in the field and um, they was running around and I managed to get a quick video of that. I also took a video of the owl box just so you can see it and I'd run that over the top. Now when I'd finished here I, I started to walk back and I saw the farmer because this, this land is owned by um, Wiltshire Wildlife uh, Trust so the farmer was in, in his farm over there and um, he told me about an owl box that was uh, about another um, one and a half, one and three quarter miles walk from here in that direction. And uh, so I traipsed along there and I took the wrong route and it took me a little bit longer than I wanted to, to get there, to be honest. And uh, I got there and um, I sat there for a while, for a good sort of like hour and a half. And um, I did actually see a barn owl. I saw the barn owl in there. Um, just see his head at uh, the corner of his um, head with an eye. I'll put the picture up on the screen, the one I did catch this morning. Um, also took a load more other images while I was here. I took um, some... Um, pictures of some uh, baby rabbits and some deer and didn't quite get the kestrel unfortunately didn't quite get that um, but I'll put all them i put all them up on screen for you to see and a nice sun sunrise as well so what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, make my way over to the other owl box um, it's a bit of a walk from the car to be honest uh, with this gear it's quite heavy so we'll get cracking and um, we're uh, get there soon. using my poncho as a hide as you can see I've got it draped over the camera 
across the front of the legs and is actually situated higher than me. I have to use my camera I've got to sit upright which means that I can sit normally and obviously all this would be breaking the outline on me. So I've had a look in the bird box. I'll keep looking through the viewfinder. He is in, still in there. He is moving his head about. I can see him. So all we've got to do now is just sit and wait. So this will go over my head. The whole thing will go over my head, but for the time being, I've just got it over the front of the camera lens. Uh, the hood bit, what goes over my head is here. So the camera lens is just poking through. I've got the buttons done up there. As you can see, it goes around the floor and it covers it. And the tree is that one there. There. Anyway, I'm going to have a coffee. Right, so I'm all set up now. Just um, looking through the viewfinder. I'm going to take an image of the uh, hole in the box, see what I can see. I'm going to review that. Yeah still in there you can see its head see its head on the left sorry on the right of the box where it was this morning but it's facing away so that's good so we know it's still there so I'm gonna stay here I am in my first original spot where I was this morning until I moved closer but I think I was just a little bit too close this morning so I'm gonna stay here because I can get an image from here anyway See you later. So that's what I'm looking at through the screen, through the viewfinder. This is 4K video, it gives me an extra crop in so I can get a little bit closer on video. Um, if you look carefully to the bottom right, you'll see a little patch of white. That is the barn owl. So just going to bide our time. The settings I'm using, by the way, so I don't want to faff about with settings, is aperture priority. I've got my ISO sensitivity settings from ISO 100 to 10,000. I've got my teleconverter on, but at some point I'll have to take it off when it gets dark. It starts to get dark. I've got minimum shutter speed of 1 400th of a second. Shooting at plus 1.3 EV at the moment. Of course, there is one disadvantage about um, doing this with barn owls. You've got to bloody well sit still. <laughs> and I can't sit still. Not for five minutes. <clears throat> and I'm starting to get cramped, so I might have to crawl over to that tree. Just there. And stretch my back and legs out. I am actually sat on my stool. Need a back rest. <laughs> anyway, can't see the barn out at the moment. I've been continually looking. I haven't taken my eyes off it. I'd have a camera switched off. The eye, the um, viewfinder, the uh, viewfinder is at eye level, so I can look straight down it, right on the box without having to put my eye to the camera. So that would be nice, quite nice evening as well. Really warm day, but it's about 21 degrees. And it's quarter past seven and it's still warm. Anyway, I think I might have to go for a stretch. Blimey. It's an age thing. Mm.
So you can see movement now. It's got to come out. I can feel it. So we've had a little bit of movement in the, in the uh, nest box. As you've already seen, um, I'm going to have to take my teleconverter off soon. In fact, I've got about another half an hour before I have to take it off. At the moment, I'm shooting at 6,000 ISO through the viewfinder, less through live view. So what I might do is I might actually um, shoot through live view instead. Yeah, getting exciting. So it's time for dinner. And yeah. Three guesses what it is. Yep, a can of full Monty. is out. Wow, look at that. Look at that. Patience is a virtue. Oh, it's gone. There he goes. He's just gone. sure how many is in that box to be fair um, we flew off down to the left and round the corner so it's probably over in that field now depending where his hunting grounds are I was hoping it might have been this field Anyway, I'm going to sit here for a while and uh, see if it comes back. I might actually um, leave my kit here and put my poncho on, my, on me and then go for a wander. Right, so I've um, left my gear back there. I'm seeing if there's any gaps in these fences where he might hunt because I think he's in went off into that field there he went off into that field there so I'm gonna just keep looking down into that field just make my way slowly hugging the hedge line so I managed to climb the fence in the other field and I walked along this hedge and I just said just the other side of here all the way down it was in the tree just on the end here to the, to the left unfortunately I didn't get the shot because I had the bloody camera switched off they got astounding hearing although I was being as quiet as I could he flew off don't call them the white death for nothing. So I'm back in my original field now. I'm about oh, 150, 150 meters from the tree. Sat against a hedge. Ain't gonna get much more on the camera, I don't think, because it's getting quite dark, to be honest with you. The sun's the sun's almost down, so I'm going to give it another half an hour and then I shall go home. It's 
just flown back into the box. I've got a picture of it flying back into the box. I've got a cuckoo over in that tree and I've taken a picture of that also. But I'm shooting at ridiculously high ISOs. Obviously my teleconverter's off, it's been off for a while. I'm shooting at 14,500 ISO at the moment. Right, I want to sit here for about another 20 minutes and I should go. Well, that's it. I've come away. That is now. It's gone nine, it's five past nine. It's time to walk back to the car. I've had a brilliant day here. Got here at 5.30 this morning. Just having a general walk around. And uh, saw that first owl box. And then I spoke to the farmer. And he told me about this one because it's never checked and it is really remote. And uh, saw it this morning poking its head out and tonight I've actually seen it so I've got it got shots of it outside the box on the perch I saw it in the tree didn't quite get a shot off there because the camera was switched off and I got um, a flight shot going into the box from uh, from taking from from the rear so yeah very good day really enjoyed it there was a cuckoo flew across my path and went into the tree to my right and uh, quickly leveled my camera and took a few photos of that as well. So yeah, it's been a really good day today. Really enjoyed it in this field. It's a field I've been in. Really nice. So now I know that barn owl's here, I should obviously come back again. I might bring a, I might invite a mate of mine who's got a 600mm lens. <laughs> right, anyway, I'm going to walk back to the car. It's quite a long walk. And I will say thank you for watching. And I'll see you on the next video. Incidentally, come still in my hand. Never put it away. You never know what you might see. All right, with that, I'll see you next time, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye.